Well, I was going to say this thing's purring like a kitten, but it it's completely silent. You can't hear anything. <laughs> because That's it's electric. Wild. I got to make the sound effects because it's so quiet. Good morning, adventurers. Electric camper van road trip starts right now. Ow. Bye. <laughs> our road trip is officially underway. Ah, we We're... got our electric camper van. Yeah, can you believe it? This thing <laughs> is so cool. Man, when you start it up, it doesn't make a single sound. It's incredible. <laughs> it keeps scaring me that like I don't actually have it running yeah. or that I, I'm really scared I'm gonna keep it running and then get out of the car. It's a completely different type of driving experience. We're gonna tell you guys all about that, give you a tour of the van a little bit later. But first, we are actually heading about 100 kilometers south of Munich. We're heading down to Germany's highest mountain called Zugspitz. Am I saying that right? We tried to research the proper pronunciation of all this stuff ahead of time, but sometimes I still feel like I'm saying it wrong. Yeah. Zugspitz, it is fun to say though. Yeah. But the scenery around the mountain and the mountain itself should be absolutely incredible. Yeah, y'all, I am very excited because as you know, we were just in Denver and we were surrounded by mountains, but we didn't get to explore any of them. But we are freaking exploring mountains here in Germany and Austria, Northern Italy. It's going to be all awesome. All over the place. We kind of mentioned this in one of our previous road trips, but we're actually teaming up with a German travel organization, DW Travel. They have their own YouTube channel, and we're going to be making some YouTube videos for them. These videos aren't sponsored or anything, but if you want to check out the videos we're going to be making for them, it's going to be all about our camper van road trip. It's going to be kind of a different angle than what we're doing here. It's going to be a little bit more informational. You can head to their YouTube channel. We'll put it on the screen and in the description below. This is our first time road tripping in an electric vehicle, so it's going to be kind of a different experience. We're going to have to time our charging because we only get about 300 kilometers to the charge on this vehicle. And it takes like 30 minutes at a quick charge station. So they should be peppered all throughout Germany. We have a little app that helps us kind of find yeah. where the different stations are, tells us what kind of connections they have. So hopefully we don't end up with a dead battery on the side of the road. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But. I don't know, but we even have, we have some attachment that allows us to charge off of a regular outlet, worst case scenario. So we've got some campsites booked. Hopefully, hopefully we're not just stranded that this whole trip on yeah. the sides of mountains. I don't know. So it's either going to be a super stressful trip or a very relaxed eco adventure. Yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> As we've stumbled on the cutest little German town that we're driving through. Do you want to take a stab at pronouncing it? <laughs> Garmisch Part Partikirchen? Yeah, Garmisch Partikirchen. <laughs> That's the one. But it's pretty incredible. It is super charming and it's sitting at the base of all these mountains and clouds are wisping around. Very cool. If we didn't have a date with the tallest mountain in Germany, <laughs> we would have to stop here. Oh for sure. man. I'm not gonna lie, when we landed in Munich, I wasn't super stoked because I wasn't ready to be back in a big city. But now that we've left and we're in the countryside, I'm realizing how much I missed Europe. These views, these tiny towns, it's just so beautiful and exciting. We have made it to the very first campsite of our road trip. It is actually at the Zugspitz Resort mm -hmm. and it sits just beneath the mountain. That's it, right over there. You can't tell, it's a lot taller than that, but the clouds are covering the very tippy top. Yeah, it is so freaking epic, oh you guys. Oh my gosh, we have such a great view too. Ah! And y'all, it has its very own access to this cable car that runs from the bottom here at the campsite all the way up to the top. Apparently there's a restaurant up there, I think there's hiking, there's all sorts of stuff. We're for sure going to be doing that, but before we do, I think we got to charge this baby up. If we can figure it out. Yeah. Let's do it. Of course, our vehicle comes with the typical connector to charge it, but it also comes with a whole heap of adapters. So let's see if we can find the right one. I think this one matches the pedestal over there. So the way it works is you just line up the orange dots and this should kind of pop right on there. That looks right, right? Yeah, seems connected. <laughs> this cord here has this juice booster thing I don't really know how we use this, so we're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> just plug it in, yeah. see if it juices us up. <laughs> Follow me. Okay. 
<laughs> I think this is how it goes. I feel like a Ghostbuster or something. <laughs> you open that up, pop this in. Is that it? Well, this light came on <gasps> and it's flashing green. Cool. So let's we'll see if we're charging. Yeah. Dude. I think that we're charging. We got a little red light right there. I would have expected it to be green, but that looks like charging, right? Oh yeah, check it out. Charging completed in 10 hours, 20 minutes. Holy cow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing we're staying overnight. <laughs> now that we've got this baby charging, let's take a look on the inside. How cool is this? They have these slide outs and this one is a complete outdoor kitchen. It's so neat. So all of these compartments have everything you need for cooking. You got plates, cups, mugs, soaps and things. Here you got all of your silver. Oh. <laughs> forgot the I word forgot. silverware. Yeah, I was gonna say dishware, but that's not, okay. Here you have all of your silverware, salt, pepper, knives, all that good stuff. Some trash bags and Kleenex, why not? And then pots and pans. I think it's literally more equipped than some of the Airbnbs we stay in. I know, and it's all hidden away back here. When he pulled all this out when he was showing it to us, I was like, there's more and more and more. This little weird thing is actually a working sink. I guess there's this little fake bowl on top so you can wash up in here and then you can dump it out. Since it was just water, we can dump it there. If not, you know, you take it where it needs to go. But apparently there's a whole, I'm not really sure if you can, oh yeah, you kind of take this off, but there's a whole jug that he filled up for us. And it's got a little power bank, a little battery bank in there that pumps the water for you. And he said it should last us all week, not the amount of water, but the battery, which is wild. So you can like literally go off grid and have a full kitchen. Yeah, in the tiniest camper van in this the is, world. Yeah, I was not expecting that. Also, these things all like snap into place. So it's not jostling around Very while you're functional. going down the road. And look how much counter space you I get. Know. Pretty big. Chopping broccoli and more broccoli. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. In this lovely cabinet, you got storage, but you also have here points to anybody who knows what this is <laughs> before I tell you. It's a toilet box. And I will show you how that works. So we're just assuming that they uh, sanitized this well because the guy so. was had his hands all over it. So I'm doing the same thing. This is a portable toilet. Lid comes off. Number ones go down here. Number twos go in here. We can show you. So this is just a little pee box, I guess. <laughs> and this is a little. So this is a pee box. That's a. This is a poo box. Ew. <laughs> yeah, but you you do your business in there and then there are wood chips in here and toilet paper. This is like the world's tiniest composting I, toilet. Yeah, hope you didn't need anything spicy because this oh, would God. not handle Let's that. Move on. So in a pinch, you can pinch one out. Okay. Oh God, okay, move on. Move that's on. awful. Hopefully we will not actually have to utilize this though, but nifty to have just in case. That's right, you guys, we got swivel seats up front. This is so neat. And apparently there is like a whole table that comes out. So <laughs> we can cook out. in the back and then eat in the front. Yeah, you have a proper living room How up here. How neat. Super cool. And then when it's time to get back on the road, pop that right down, slide this back into place, and there you go. Awesome and easy. Yo, <laughs> we have a living room in our van. Last but not least, we have to show you how this bed works. So right now the bed's at about half size and it's tucked away in the back. So all you do is pull this leg out so it's out of the way of the chair. Mm -hmm. Also put the chair down. Whoa. Then the whole thing slides up like that to make it about a full size bed. Ta-da! Big enough for both of us to fit on. Yeah. So that's gonna wrap up the tour of the camper van. It is starting to rain and I think it's gonna be raining for the rest of the night. So we are going to set up shop inside. We're gonna chill for the rest of the night and then we'll see you on the top of the mountain tomorrow. First night in the camper van was a wild success. Yeah. I don't slept. know about a wild success, but we no. did sleep very well. We slept too well, y'all. We slept for like 
12 hours on accident. I think yeah. the jet lag finally caught up to us. Yeah, we needed it. <laughs> but it was really nice and peaceful in there. It was super comfortable, slept right through the night. The only downside is it was kind of raining and stuff outside, so we couldn't really step outside of the van. And yeah. when you can't do that, it's pretty tough because it gets so cramped on the inside. Yeah. We woke up to just complete whiteout of fog, but this fog is slowly lifting over the forest over there. You can almost see the mountain. But my God, you guys, it's so beautiful around here. So this is exactly what we needed. First off, we got to hit up that mountain. Well, first, first off, breakfast and coffee. Then the mountain. Then the mountain. Okay, bye. See you later. Okay, we're, we're gonna, gonna drive off from the middle of the van. We're just gonna sit in here awkwardly. Yeah. Bye. above the clouds. Check that out. You guys, we made it to the top. Well, almost the top. That star is the top and we're debating whether or not we should go out yeah, there. Yeah, because you actually have to hike up a little bit and it looks a little treacherous. <laughs> yeah, people are like, properly repelling with carabiners yeah, and everything. We don't have any of that stuff. But we came on the right day, you guys. We thought it was gonna be complete whiteout, but we are actually above the clouds and you can see them all below us just rolling through all the different valleys between the mountains. It's it is truly so incredible. Pretty. Yeah. Man, now I'm sad that we waited so we kept waiting for the fog to clear this morning, but it turns out we could have been up here in the sunshine. Yeah, but check this out. This is what we're looking at right now. Not too bad at all, huh? I could get used to this view. <laughs> I could live here. All right, do we brave the highest point in Germany? I think we do. I think we have to, right? Let's do it. Allison's going up first. It's pretty nerve wracking watching her on this ladder. <laughs> How scary is that, you guys? How you doing? It's all of a sudden got really scary. Right? I have a lot of gear on me. And the ladder just kind of ends and you gotta like hold yourself up. You okay? That was really scary. I know. This spot right here at the end, <laughs> if you slip, you're dead. Yeah. Now you just gotta shimmy around this rock with crazy. death off the side. You guys, I somehow made it to the tippy top. That's the highest point in Germany right there. But my God, is it terrifying. I just have to not look down. That's, that's the main thing. But look at this view. Is this incredible or what? With all the cloud inversion. What are the top views of my life? Easily. There is a whole cafeteria in here, and oh my gosh, the food looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, does this look incredible or what? <laughs> Holy cow. Eric went with the goulash, I got the currywurst. The portions are fantastic. I'm so hungry now. I never would have expected to get such delicious food at just a touristic spot like this. But man, look at this freaking beef. Does this not look just delicious? Mm. Ooh, baby. Man, it's so tender and so savory and so just deliciously oily. And look how fresh this all looks. I mean, does this not just look delicious? I thought I was just gonna have to eat a cheeseburger or something. Yeah, nope. Said I went first and got the curry worst, yeah. which is great, but I'm pretty jealous of all I kept of it a little healthier. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for our trip up here to the summit. We have spent way too much time. We're way off schedule, but we're trying to just chillax and go with the flow, you know? Yeah, we're in the holiday mindset. Yeah. Right? So we're going to finish this up, and then we're going to make our way to our next stop for the night. up at our first toll it's a little steep 10 euros Ooh -wee. lord what is that like 12 usd or something oh, something like that hopefully this is the first and only today yowza can you speak german yet nicked 
David? Für Rechnungsbeleg bitte ah. Quittungsknopf. Ah, Dankeschön, tschüss. <lacht> Alright, I'm seeing a sign right there. It looks like car charging. Alright, so this one should work. Hopefully it's the fast one. When we started our drive today, it said we had 316 kilometers till empty, but we have been going through the mountains, and so that quickly dropped. We lost about 100 kilometers in there. So now we're getting close to 100 kilometers left, but we have well over that to go. So we found this nifty charging station. It'll be our first time doing it at a charging station. I'm very excited because I think it'll go very quickly. So basically, okay. if one of these fits, that's the one oh, we do. This is the one. That's this the is. One. He said if you can find one that fits both of these, it's the best and should go the fastest. All right, let's do it. All right. Yeah, charging. All right, nice job. Awesome. This is actually way fun and way less stinky than getting regular gasoline. <laughs> We really are fans of electric vehicles, you guys, because look how cool this is. You pull up here, you plug it in, it's completely free. There's no one else in this entire lot. Those are all Tesla supercharger stations over there, all empty. Well, we are all charged up. It took us just long enough to get a cup of coffee and a pastry inside. Yeah, Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> I'm doing it all wrong. We're new at this, guys. <laughs> we'll get better. All right, back on the road. Cheers. Cheers. We made it to Italy. We are officially in Italy. The wine. Yeah. We also decided to stay in a hotel tonight. We're trying to kind of switch up the camper van lifestyle with the luxurious hotel lifestyle. And boy, is it luxurious. Check this place out, you guys. It's friggin' huge. Yeah. We're only giving you a little peek because we want to show it off properly in our next video. Y'all, and the view outside, I think it's gonna blow you away. But we actually did try to camp here. It's just everything was booked and then we kind of panicked last minute and Eric found this amazing place and we couldn't pass it up. So here we are. They have a whole kitchen. I'm actually making us pasta right now. Pasta yeah. and wine in Italy. Fantastic hotel room, uh, my love. Amazing company. Yeah. Also, I would love to take my hat and stuff off because it's really warm down here, not cold like in the mountains, but we didn't shower today, so it's, this is what it's I'm crazy on. under <laughs> here. Yeah, should I show up? No, I won't no, show up. No, don't you. show up. You don't want to see that. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road.